Today we will have a quick breakdown on the life cycle of jellyfish. Many of you know the classic image of a jellyfish, but did you know that they come in various different forms? I did not know that. Well, you might have seen them and not know that they were jellyfish. This now brings us to the stages of the jellyfish life cycle. We'll start with the very first form. This is usually the gametes. This consists of both eggs, this little one right here, and sperm, this one which is down here. Now, this has all the DNA needed to create a jellyfish, but they haven't been combined yet, which also brings us to the next stage of life. This next stage is the fertilized egg. This egg is a mashup of all the gametes for the potential jellyfish. Eggs like these will eventually grow into spores and later on turn into planula, which will then turn into pill shape, also known as a planula larvae, which you can see right here. As time goes on, this planula larva also finds a good spot to sit and morph into its polyp stage. It's very reminiscent to an anemone, like the ones from Nemo. After this polyp stage, it goes into step five, which after this, it forms buds, which can look like tires and slowly pop off. These so-called tires that pop off are actually tiny baby jellies, which are then called the immature medusa. During this process of growth, any tentacle that comes off can regrow back. Now, this is the last stage, and this is what many of you know as the standard jellyfish. This is an adult medusa, and during this time, it can create gametes to make the next generation of baby jellies. Now, here's a cute photo of a jellyfish taken from the Vancouver Aquarium. Now, remember not to touch them, as they're still very dangerous and sting. Come here, little squishy. Come here, little squishy.